Hello, Dar Yanxing Gao, requested by Excellence Breeding Platform. I'm recording this video as a success story sharing. Thank you to many of the partners from CG Nominating Breeding Informatic Network to share the success story of us. So we'll share some of the challenges and the processes we put in place and also how these solutions help us moving forward with global collaboration. Now, let me share my screen. Green, Center for Breeding Informatic Network. This is a grand vision Dr. Yung Wa Li, module five lead put together uh, for a centralized CGIR biometric unit. She recruited me in April uh, to manage this project. And together, we launched uh, this Brain Informatic Network. So what is Brain? Brain is intentional collaboration and coordination, strategically aligned uh, to connect the large resources in the CGIR. So between the biometrics unit and also the breeding programs. And because not all the centers and NARS have the same resources for this to support breeding program, we like these shared services be available to the centers without these resources. And also for some centers, there's disconnect between the uh, biometric unit and the breeding program, and some just too uh, research oriented. And then we also want to support this as a productionized uh, analytics to enable the breeding pipeline. And in the breeding analytics, standards need to be coordinated. So we want to enable this across all the centers program. And for the capabilities, to implement in IT. We like to have our bioinformatics bio unit to drive this process and to harmonize these standards so that we do not rework in the IT implementation. So with this background, Brain was launched. Who are Brain? So Brain is a two-sided network. On the left-hand side, it connected with the business that's the breeding data process, procedure, and operation uh, owners. On the right-hand side is the technology solution owners. They are the developers, engineers, and the deployment support. In the middle, these are the business champions, the breeding champions. They are also the super users. They work closely with the business analyst, help the breeding program guide these requirements with the standard guided by the bioinformaticians to implement in the IT systems. How brain work? By premise, there are five touch points for the product owners to connect between the business owner and the technology owner. Starting from the requirements gathering all the way to the final adoption. So the business side, the requirements gathering, covering large centers, small centers, the programs with already very optimized operation versus uh, still in the early stages for using molecular breeding or genomic breeding. And uh, some of the markers even need to be developed so you can see some even go back to uh, the pre-breeding requirements gathering to define the capabilities. So the prototyping done through back and forth IGO process uh, requirements gathering and getting the sign off from the breeding side, and then they will be ready uh, for the IT side to implement. And this also uh, is validated uh, once they come out. So this process also cover the 360 degrees change management and involving uh, many service units together 
we are able to enable the genetic gain and drive the technology adoption all the way uh, to the farm through our NAR partners. How brain work? This is a part of the project management side. Uh, this is part of our success story. This, at the beginning, we took about two months just to get the team uh, formed. Large number of requirements being whiteboarded, mirror, prioritized. So we formed four themed uh, teams. In these teams, they break out into smaller groups working synchronously, asynchronously to gather the requirements and through show and tell, demo, compare and contrast, they create, define these best practices for implementation. And this being signed off by the breeding program and ready for IT implementation. So currently in this implementation stage, we are somewhere at step five and seven, depends on which uh, team uh, they are. So these are the four teams and these are the harmonized requirements. Some of them are ready, some need more time uh, for IT implementation. So experimental design, trial advancement, genomic selection and molecular breeding. And this first sprint, the experimental design and advancement run separately and the second sprint, uh, they converge together so now we have this aggregated stage one trial advancement requirements already. And the genomic selection uh, through working with many genomic selection experts, we aggregated the current state of all the centers in their genomic application status and compare contrasted the capabilities in standalone tools uh, EBS, BMS, or Brie base, and uh, also uh, how the aggregated recommendation from EIB module five in simulation recommendations. Uh, in the molecular breeding, there are so many topics and they prioritized for QC as a first priority. And this also break down into upper stream QC and a downstream QC. So upper stream QC connecting between the data flow process and uh, sample tracking and connecting with the database and the visualization in data display for primary marker side QC. And downstream QC also break down into finer for uh, downstream germ plasm, like F1 confirmation, uh, genetic identification, also similarity and the seed fixation. So this space will work closely uh, with our industry partners. Early next year with Cautiva, we hope to learn how they manage from uh, this disconnected to a connected capability in building the sample tracking and overall genotype data management. This is a key support to enable our third team for actual genomic application, genomic selection applications. Yes, successes. So the brain informatic network, the success is not only they documented large number of uh, uh, the assets as the best practices, recommendations through these uh, many, many uh, discussion demo and uh, comparing the contrast and a rich consensus. The most important success, I would say, is this team is figuring out how to work together, how to gather requirements together and harmonize and standardize requirements. Just this process as a way of working for a centralized breeding informatic unit and across different centers, NARS, that's the beauty. So we expanded the knowledge base and together we build a capacity. Next steps. In spring two, this mid-December will wrap up. Some of us 
I will go to January Plant Animal Genome Conference in San Diego. We'll do practice run to showcase a success story. And later January, the brain community is going to open up to broader all the CGAR center breeding program. Anyone want to come, you can come. And we engage the breeding leads to validate, also sign off the requirements before we officially hand off the requirements for EBS to implement. And by then we hope to have the EBS product lead on board. They will help our uh, IT side to prioritize and also give us more focus uh, to how the requirements break down into bite size for our product owners uh, to work on. And we like to do the same thing with BMS, breed based working more closely with the IT team for implementation uh, in 2022. And together, we jointly define this 1CG biometric uh, strategy. And continuously, we work with Salvador from VSNI, consult on the analytic implementation. With that, I'd like to acknowledge the dedicated product owners, breeding champions, lead, lead second, admin support in the last two sprints from so many centers. Scientists, experts like Mike Olson, who even launched brain meetings in Mayo Clinic while waiting for his wife, Carrie Olson's chemotherapy. So with the sacrifice of you all, I know this brain network is completely volunteering is outside your nature, uh, natural fire work. The dedication you put, this intrinsic motivation is enabling us to make the progress like today. And also, I understand many of you have the restructure in the 1CG or the IT team. There's a lot of uncertainty. I'd like to share a few words of encouragement by citing the distinguished transformational leader, Dr. Julian Bailing from the Queen's University. He says, in an uncertain time, ask yourself as a leader, what's the smallest thing you can do? Yes, while facing the uncertain time, let all of us ask ourselves, what's the smallest thing we can do for yourself, also for your fellow colleagues. Thank you. Next, you're going to hear a few testimony from the BRIM members. Hi everyone, I'm Mokhtar Kante. I hold a postdoc position as a quantitative geneticist at the International Potato Center where we work on implementing genomic selection for potato. I was involved in the two um, first sprints of um, the Brain 4, where we mapped um, data management practices and provided key bottlenecks to database usage. And we also defined data display needs and reviewed several QC analytic pipelines to provide adequate support to the breeding teams. These meetings allowed me also to have a closer contact with um, colleagues from different CGIR centers, a contact with their work and also their limitations, um, which generally are common to all centers. So I'm looking forward to closing the sprint two and engaging with sprint three and four. Thank you, bye-bye. Hi, I'm Parthivan, working as a rice breeder at International Rice Institute Philippines. Um, the Brin Sessions gave a really good opportunity uh, to share the step-by-step -step process of how we have implemented genomic selection in the breeding program. Uh, in here, we like to capture the comments uh, on the inputs from readers, uh, from QG and biometrics experts uh, to effectively uh, optimize the program in order to deliver higher subjectivity gain. Thank you.
I'm Atunda Sikiru Adeni by name, a postdoc with uh, CIMIT Global with Brennan Program and this cry for the spring three meeting. Overall, the meeting created a venue for harmonization of ideas across crop and CG centers, which allow unification of best practices. Hi, I'm Hosea Basnet. Uh, I'm a wheat breeder at CIMIT. Over the last uh, several months, I have been participating in Brain, and I found it very unique uh, because it provides equal opportunity to all the participants to tell and show how they are doing breeding in their program. And it has really helped us to better understand the similarities and the differences we have uh, in breeding practices across different crops and programs. And I hope uh, through this platform, we'll be able to establish a common set of practices across different crops and city system in order to increase the genetic gain for unit of time and for unit of investment. Thank you. My name is Ibn Jeng, Biometrics Lead of RIDA. In sprint one, I was technical lead of the group genetic gain, experimental design, and mix model. We compared and documented the most used experimental design with their advantages, disadvantages, and recommendation for adoption. At Brain, the benefits of working together include continual learning, knowledge sharing and distribution, standardization, coordination. And Hi everyone, my name is Roberto Fricinet. I'm a senior scientist at ERI. There I have coordinated the biometrics team and quantitative genetics initiative to optimize the rice breeding programs and also unify the pipelines for breeding analytics. Uh, over this year, I have support bringing as a technical lead in the first spring and the co-lead in the second one in the team three for genome selection applications. So uh, based on our work, so we could collect many amazing results. We could define a roadmap, some commonalities and some difference across centers for genome prediction, pipelines and needs. So I do believe that our work will support EBS and also breeders to implement these two in a near future. I am Xiaofei Zhang, the custom breeder at SEAT. I have been actively attending or leading the discussions in the Breeding Informatics Network meetings. Breeding Informatics Network brings breeders, quantitative geneticists, statisticians, and 80% together in CGIAR. It provides the platform for us to talk with each other and to learn with each other, identify the gaps and figure out the solutions, and also developing the improvement plans. For any of you watching this video, if you would like to contribute, be part of this, building this global breeding informatic network, please reach out to Yungwa Li or myself. We are looking forward to another successful year in 2022. Until then, be well. Thanks.